Congratulations, you have successfully dual boarded Mac OS Sequoia and Windows dual board. So, friends, first of all, you will have to download the Balena Eacher, CPUZ, EFI Open Core, File Explorer, and Mac OS Sequoia Commands, and Minitool Petition Wizard, and the final Aurora Sequoia Image. Everything downloading link will be given in the description. So, first of all, you will have to install CPUZ. Now open CPUZ, click on yes. Now here you'll have to note down your code name. In my case, it is Skylake. In your case, it may be different. So just note down the code name and open a browser and search for Olarilla. Then open the very first link, olarilla.com. Here click on vanilla images, scroll a little bit. Here you'll find Sequoia Olarilla. Just click on here and download your Sequoia. After downloading Sequoia, Click on EFI folders, scroll a little bit, and here you'll have to download as per your codename. In my case, I'm using a Skylake desktop. So here I'll have to choose Skylake desktop. Here is the open core desktop. This is Skylake. Just click on here and download will start it. Here you'll have to download as per your codename. Now close the browser. Also close this application. Now extract the zip files. Now just move this folder to desktop and also open this EFI folder. Select this EFI and Put it to the desktop. Now you can delete the zip files. Now minimize this and right click on storage menu and select disk management. Here you'll have to create a minimum 100 gigabytes drive. Just right click on a bigger drive, click on shrink volume. After choosing your size, click on shrink. I have created 128 gigabytes pure space. Now right click on here, select new simple volume, click next, click next, next. Put the name here as macOS and click on next, click finish. Now it's done, close it. Now go to the file explorer, download folder and install balloon itcher now here you have to click flash from file and go to download folder and select all Sequoia and click open now you'll have to install it up and drive minimum 30 gigabytes to a pc now here select target and select your pen drive now click on flash you will have to wait here 15 to 30 minutes to complete the process when the process is completed it will show flash completed you'll have to close the application and now you'll have to install the minute partition click on yes click on finish now click on launch application and here you can find this is my usb pen drive and you will have to select the efi folder and right click on it click on change later click on ok and now click on apply click on yes click on ok it's done just minimize this now you will have to open this explorer plus plus on the desktop right click on explorer plus plus click run as administrator click on yes now you will have to go to desktop and select and and open this EFI folder, select the three, right click on them, select copy. Now you will have to go to back again and now go to the EFI drive and go to EFI folder, right click on here, paste it. Click to replace the file destination. Now it's done. Just close the Explorer plus plus. Close this file explorer. Now you can also close this application. Now you will have to restart to PC and access the BIOS menu of your PC. To access the BIOS menu, you can refer this portal. Otherwise, you can search in Google. Now on the BIOS menu, set these recommended parameters. If you don't find any one of them, just put them as it is. For setting up your BIOS, you'll have to access the boot menu of your PC. To access the boot menu, you can refer this portal. Otherwise, you can search in Google. On this boot menu, you will have to select your USB pen drive and click on the enter key. Now on the screen you will have to choose this install Mac OS 15 beta and hit the enter key. Now on the screen select your language and click on the arrow key. Now here you will have to choose disk utility. Click on continue. Now from the top down select show all devices and here this is the drive we have created Mac OS. Now select this drive and click on erase. From the drop down select APFS. Click on erase. The erase is completed. Click on done. Now close it. Click on install Mac OS beta. Click on continue. Now again click on continue. Now click on agree again click on agree now here you will have to choose your drive that is mac os and click on continue here it will take 15 to 30 minutes to install the mac os you'll have to wait here your pc will restart several times during the installation process whenever your pc restarts you will have to access the boot menu and select your usb in short every time your pc restarts you will have to go to boot menu and boot from the usb as i said you will have to restart your pc and access the boot menu and select your pen drive and hit enter key now this time you'll have to select a mac OS installer and hit the enter key
it may take 10 to 15 minutes you will have to wait here now again you'll have to access the boot menu and select your usb and hit the inner key again select the mac with installer and hit the inner key now again you'll have to access the boot menu and select to usb and hit the inner key now this time you will find mac os select the mac os and hit the inner key now again access the boot menu select your pen drive hit the inner key select mac os hit the inner key after selecting your region click and continue click and continue click not now click and continue click not now select the letter click on skip click on agree again click on agree now you have to put your pc name now you'll have to choose a password and after putting your password click and continue now here click and continue select the news here select your cd and click and continue again click and continue and click set up later select your theme and click and continue click and continue click and quit now just go to the about mac and here you can see imac pro 2017 and i'm using mac OS 15 close it now you will have to open this mac OS installer select this files and drag it to the desktop close it now just open the files and open the open core configurator now here click on tools mount efi here you'll have to mount the both efis first of all you'll have to mount your this efi click on mount partition put your password click on ok now click on open partition but the partition is here and now click on here mount partition and click on open partition but the partition is here now open this efi select this two click and right click on them click on copy go to efi folder and right click on here paste it click on replace it's done now you'll have to restore your PC to your Windows. Now just click on start, search for CMD, run as administrator, click on yes. Now you'll have to go to download folder again and open the Mac OS Sequoia text file. And here you'll find this command, select it, copy, close it, and right click on CMD and hit the enter key. Now it's done. Now whenever you restore your PC, you will see there is no need the USB. Your PC will be dual booted without the USB. Congratulations, you have successfully dual booted Mac OS Sequoia and Windows dual boot. Now it's done. Thanks for watching.